and a very good afternoon. Welcome along to a very cold and windy home park. Clyde Bank against Arthurley coming up. I suppose we should have a wee look at today's <coughs> lineups. That would be a good idea. So they should be coming up on your screen right now. And as we <coughs> alluded to pre-match interview with Moth, there's been quite a few changes. So Clyde Bank line up with Hughes, Hodge, McHugh, Niven, Craig Little, Johnson, Gallagher, Lowe, Mokahe, <coughs> Nicky Little and Alan Kelly. After they line up with Max Clark and goals, one of the boys that came through the, the academy. Uh, Rolston, McGee, McNeil, Bradley, Leiden, Kerr, Bolger, McGuigan, Dykes and Fletcher. Today's match referees, Kieran Trainer. He's supposed to be being assisted by Liam McDougall and Lewis Brown. Commerce taking Gallica delivers, drops to Johnson, edge of the box, hit it. No, I don't. Oh, and Frank and Paul are picking up the glasses and putting away the plates with the glasses. Ooh, Ooh it's a nice touch shave. for Clark shooting for distance. The game would have went behind you, why not? And you'd be expecting the goal to save that as well. You know, it's very zonal, no demand marking at all. It's just set up for Gilo Kahi. Oof. That wasn't far away. Killed the momentum a wee bit. I actually think when the ball bounced it died. You know, if take it on the, uh, on the move. It's a big switch for Craig Little. He's going to find Adam Hodge. It's a great ball. Hodge delivers. Edge of the the box. Oh. drops it to Kelly. Shot. Goal. Yes! There's the opener. Alan Kelly. And um, going to go back to Craig Little there, but what a pass to set Hodge away. Perfectly weighted, Hodge does really well. Just rolled in nicely for Mulcahy just to set himself up and get the opener. It's well read by Connor Bradley, who was the player that went into the book. Oh! We've got a goal. What happened there, Kev? I was just checking the notes. He just took him on out wide, took Hodge on, and put the ball into the box. And it's a great finish, to be fair. For a foul, I thought Johnson I did well. I don't think that was a foul. Clee Bank have got possession. It's Gallagher busting forward, get a chance to let it rip. Oh, he's Takes away. extra touch, he's going to finish. Oh, oh Max has touched it. That's it's crept over the line. Clee Bank are back in front. Lee Gallica, we bit of confidence there, we made a run, Great. drive around the goalkeeper, thought he'd maybe taken a touch too many, you set himself up nicely. You could just see it opening up there, defence, nobody went to, to, to press him and he's seen the space and he just kept his run, he could have hit it earlier, as you would expect him to do, but just to have a wee extra touch and it's put him through one and one with the goalie. He won the first header. Bounce. Invited a wee bit, invited a wee bit of pressure, allowing the ball to bounce. Try and clear Fraser Johnson and there then what he does, but now it's man for man at the back. If they play it quick, after they break, Lee Gallagher just gets back in and does enough to put them off. Big space in the middle of the pitch. Effort for distance. Save by Hughes, second efforts come off the post. <laughs> it was nice, anyway. Give them it back. It's a good win by Niven. Heather drops Niven. to Kelly. That's a, it's great, a great pass into Gallica. Clark thought about coming. Get back. He's getting no support. Nothing whatsoever. there from him. Buys a bit of time. Rolls into Mulcahy. Chance to finish. Ah, yes! 3 1. Great finish. That all came for the movement of Lee Gallagher. Sometimes when a player makes a run, it makes your mind up to play the pass. This comes back to Nicky Lowe in the centre circle. Those passes. Poor has put Truesdale under pressure. And Arthur Lee have two on one if he plays a man. it back. There's a chance. It'll be 3 2. And that's a really, really needless goal. Ah, they will I've Mickey. no doubt Moff and that will be really, really disappointed but that just shows you as we spoke about the game Peter now 
you know, and that's a wee bit of slackness. Need to deal with it. Pedro even will carry the whistle mm. goes. We'll take it, 3-2, three, three points, um, which is ultimately the objective before the game. We'll be back in about two years when St Caddox come here on May the 4th. A couple of games before that, keep an eye on the social media for details of supporters' buses and things like that. Thanks as always for, for tuning in. We'll catch up with you soon. Take care.